Welcome back, friends. If you haven't been here before, I am Susan Clifton. I live here in South Florida, and I'm just going to do a very quick video today. So I'm working on a video that goes into details about inspiration, where I get inspiration. I'm cutting cricket stencils in that video. But it dawned on me that not everybody knows how to create an SVG. Not everybody has Adobe Illustrator. If you want to design your own like graphics, black and white graphics that you can cut on a Cricut, you need to know how to convert that so that Cricut can cut it. So there's a little trick within Cricut, and I'm going to show you that really quick. It allows you to take simple black and white graphics that you create in Procreate. Very, very easy. All you need is your studio pen in Procreate. And then you create some doodles or whatever, and, and then you export it as a JPEG. When you import that JPEG into the Cricut Design Studio, there's a little trick on how you can make that so that you can actually cut it. That's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how you could use your Procreate JPEGs from right within Cricut Design Space. So we're going to upload Now normally I would be already making my SVGs like I have here and I would just upload them and it would work perfectly but when you first export from Procreate you have choices and JPEG is one of the choices uh, PNGs and I think TIFF so I made a JPEG so that means in this JPEG you have the black and the white and we need just the black part so I'm going to open now, over, since this is a very simple, just black and white, very monochrome, uh, we're going to choose the very first simple selection. And then we're going to hit continue. And now we can get the, the background now has become gray. And we could use the background remover to just click where we don't want it. and then apply and continue. And then I usually use cut image and upload. So that's this one right here. So now we will select it and add to canvas. And of course it's too big. So I'm going to click the lock under size and I'm going to make this, I think, 4, but that's still too big, so I'm going to make this 11. There we go. And we don't have to, like, weld it or anything. It's, it's pretty good, pretty much good to go. Okay, so that was a short and sweet little tip for those of you who always wondered how you can create your own designs in Cricut. Let's face it, we don't always want to use the Cricut Design Studio artwork to cut our designs. Sometimes we want something a little bit more unique, so go for it. See you next time. Bye-bye.